Firstly, a massive congratulations. Has it sunk in yet? Yeah, good evening. Yeah, thanks. It's great. It's great to have uh, become this achievement, and especially for this team. And yeah, down in Mumbai, yeah, first time in the history, and and it's great for the Pumas to to win this cup. It's it's history. What did the presidents of your union say to you? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things they say, but everybody just uh, enjoys this, and and everybody's over the moon. The whole Mumbai is is just, it's just said. Um, it, 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 it's crazy, John and Mumbela. Even today when we came back, people waiting for us at the stadium, it's just scary. Yeah, so the, obviously the, the directors and the board is, is happy with what happened. And um, three years ago, I put a plan forward to say in three years' time, we will play in the semi-final, and luckily for that, we played in the final. So that explains those tears then of actually beating the cheaters in the semi-finals. Yeah, you know what... Um, um, it's 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 not that you beat uh, you beat the cheetahs. The cheetahs is, is a full squad. They're playing international competition. They won the Bulls twice. They were the they were the team predicted to play in the Curry Cup final. So beating them and beating them away from home is is, is very very special. And and just for working so hard with this this kids that with this men and um, see what they become and how they handled it was just amazing. And and that's. Uh, you know what, a few years ago, I always fight that now I'm crying. So yeah, it's scary to see how life changes, but this is just amazing for me to see them. How did you do it? Was that semi-final victory over the Cheetahs the key? Because you actually lost in the regular season twice to the Griquas. The first time it was quite a heavy defeat, 41-20. Uh, the next time it was just a one-point difference between yourselves and the Griquas. What made the difference yesterday? Yeah, the biggest concern is, is, is the, 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 the discipline. Um, even though in this last game we got, I think the 10 penalty count was maybe 15 to 7. I'm not sure what it is. But then in all the previous games, we got yellow cards. We had 13 yellow cards in the whole season. And obviously, we had five yellow cards against Rikos in the first one. So we worked very hard on the discipline um, to, to, to get that correct. We didn't have a yellow card in this last game. If you go back to the Cheetahs game, we, we were far ahead in that game. We got a yellow card. Then Cheetahs came back and Roscoe Speckman got a yellow card and we clinched that game. So the biggest concern is, the, uh, is discipline. And then at the end of the day, I think our mindset going in this final was not just, it's, it's not just the final take the points when you can take it, it's go out and play, um, attack them and play them. You know, if you miss the, the, the goal kicks, you, at least you got points on the board and that's what we did. And I think that was the key, the key point on this game. You guys ended fourth in the regular season. It's been a real fairy tale story. Many of the, your players in your team, they were discarded by bigger unions. How did you manage to make them a Curry Cup winning outfit? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very big emotional uh, season. Um, you know what? Um, in South African rugby, when the URC starts, uh, other unions need players to, to assist them to, to make them a bit stronger. So. Uh, 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 we, we, we gave the Lions five players to go and play there. And, um, and it's not the Lions' problem, but it, 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 that's rugby, you know. They went to play there. It's a big union, it's international competitions, it's exposure. And then suddenly the players feel like, yo, this is what they want. Why do they have to come back to the Pumas and don't play international rugby? And then they got offers from the Lions to, to, to go there immediately. And, and, you know, then you get that, that point of uh, negativity when players coming back and, and suddenly their salaries, salaries is raised by 30 to 50,000 Rand a month. And um, so um, you get that neg negativity and um, yeah, so yeah, I made a decision for them to go. Um, you don't need people that doesn't want to be there. And so we lost our captain. We lost three other players. We lost um, Erich Kronier to Zebra. And that was uh, when the Curry Cup started. But uh, luckily for us, we had good players. We had great players. The guys that came in uh, just, um, you know, when you contract a team, your, your first prop and your second prop has got to be the same. Otherwise, uh, it's not going according to plan. And that was a bit, bit of a mix-up by players leaving. But luckily, we, Willi Engelbrecht was there. He stepped in as captain, made it work for us, and we pulled this team together. And, um, yeah, the rest, the rest is history. We, we play well for, uh, away from home. We play very well. And um, I think that's where the, where the key point came. We... We got that belief from uh, we can we can get bonus points playing away from home. Yeah, uh, 
it's going to be quite difficult to hold on to those players or are you expecting uh, to keep a number of those players? Are you expecting a ma mass exodus uh, of uh, some of your key players going into the new season? <laughs> you know what, when you're a small union like we in the Greek West, you know you're going to lose players, so you plan for it. And um, obviously I talked to the players during the season. I know we're going somewhere else. We lose close to 10 players this season. And um, we already um, contracted new players, so you plan up ahead and make sure you, 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 you get the thing going for the next season. Otherwise, it's going to take you another two, three years to, to build on to what you, what you have to achieve this season. And yeah, it's bad for us to, leave, uh, to lose those players. But obviously, if it, unions don't take that place, we don't do our job. Coach, what is happening with South African rugby at the moment? Your story at the Pumas, it was a fairy tale story. The story of the Gwikwas hosting a Curry Cup final at home, first time in over 50 years, making the final of the competition. It was a fairy tale story. The Stormers winning the URC. It seems as if we've got fairy tale stories all over the place. Uh, David versus Goliath kind of stuff. What's happening with rugby in the country? Because it really does seem to be in a very positive space. Yeah, I think uh, rugby is in a positive state at the moment. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's a, f a few. Uh, Comments out there that um, the the Curry Cup uh, is diluted. Uh, I don't agree with that. Um, that's a chance for a Roscoe Speckman and Fafte Clark and and, uh, and Vincent Koch to come through. If it wasn't for the Curry Cup and the smaller unions, those players would, would just got lost. And um, but um, if you look at what's going on in South Africa, and especially now with the the the, the stadiums open, I just think it's going to be massive when the Springboks get out there and play their first test match on Saturday. But um, I think the best thing that could have happened to SA Rugby is that two smaller unions played in that final. And um, yeah, um, uh, people feel like because no, not one of the big unions was there, uh, maybe that's why they think it's deluded. But they had the opportunities, they had the chances. They still, even if that URC players didn't play, they cost three to four times double the amount of what the Greekers and Pumas cost. Yeah. Uh, coach, in maybe another lifetime, one may say, you were involved in bodybuilding. You won Mr. South Africa, went to Mr. Universe. I believe you ended in sixth spot there. With everything you achieved in your own personal capacity as an athlete, how would you rate that in comparison to what happened yesterday? Yeah, you know what? Discipline is the most important thing, and, and I live by that, and I die by that. And, and, and obviously, um, if you look at what happened on the field with all those yellow cards, when you say, but how can you be a disciplinary <laughs> man and you get all those yellow cards? But that's unfortunate, it's a human error, and that's what happens. Um, but yeah, I believe in, in discipline uh, because everybody loves this game. And if you cannot handle this game in the correct way, um, how can you handle your job in the future after stop playing rugby? So for me, the most important thing about life is discipline and respect of other people. And um, that's why I try to teach the players here. Because if you can be on time, you'll be in time in the game for catching the ball and make your tackle. But if you cannot be on time for what's easy um, in a day's work at, at the rugby, which you love so much, how can you be on time catching that ball? And when the game is finished and you've got to start working real work, um, yeah, that's when you realize what discipline is about. Because maybe you get a chance now, but if your boss loses his salary or if he loses his money, you'll get it from him. And, Coach, which one means more for you? What you achieved as a bodybuilder or winning the Curry Cup? Yeah, you know, obviously, um, uh, individual sports, sometimes it's, it's, it's easier um, because you work for yourself. But um, I, I love rugby. I live by it. I'm born and bred in it, and, and I just love it. And I love the Pumas. The Pumas is, is my home. And um, achieving this Curry Cup and winning this with this players and just see them, how they grow and uh, boys into men and, and just play. It's, it's the most amazing thing that can happen in my career. And the same with my, my, my coaching staff. You know, I coach MJ Mintz and for nice team come at school level. They played for me at a few months. Now they're coaching with me. And all the rest of the staff. It's just amazing to see what they bring into this team and how they develop. And maybe this Curry Cup uh, final can give them an opportunity to go further in their careers because that's what it's about. Um, winning is, uh, uh, they always say winning is not everything. It's the only thing. But you know what, uh, if you win, win creates opportunities. Um, players go to bigger unions, uh, so hopefully all these coaches get an opportunity to go somewhere as well, because that's life. 
And you don't think that this may just be the start of uh, the Pumas becoming an even bigger union? Yeah, you know, obviously, um, I always say this, and, uh, and I still don't know which one is correct. Is it first the egg or the chicken? Or the chicken and then the egg? So do you win the Curry Cup and then you get sponsors? Or do you get sponsors and then you win the Curry Cup? So I love our sponsors. They're very loyal to us and they're great to us. But you know what? If you can get that 15 million, 20 million, and uh, don't talk about the big money the union will get, if you can just get a, another 10 million a season, it can just imagine what can happen to a union like the, like the Pumas. But yeah, uh, it, it happened. And I think the people are out there, if SA Rapid can give us an international competition, if it's something in there for us, not just a curry cup of what, what, what sweets do you s sell at the stadium? What do you give the people only playing five, six games at home? And, um, but yeah, luckily we got an international test. But if it's an international competition for us to compete in, and then we sit in the same boat as the big unions, you've got to host two teams, and yeah, then we will learn what it, it feels like to, to play in two different competitions. But yes, I believe the Pumas can go further. So is the Greek was. But yeah, we need money and we need international competition. Jimmy Sternhouse, straight forward. And uh, congratulations with a fantastic victory over the past weekend, beating the Griquas uh, to lift the union's first ever, ever Curry Cup. That's Jimmy Sternhouse chatting to us here on Newsroom Africa. And that